what is up guys welcome back to the channel this is dr hammerstang and today this is the test that you guys have been waiting for today we have two very powerful poco spec shape killers over here in the first corner here we have the poco x3 gt and inside here it does come with the mediatek dimensity 1100 and it does come with 8 gigs of ram and 256 gigs of storage in the other corner here we have the poco f3 this is arguably one of my favorite phones of 2021 and inside here it does come with the snapdragon 870 8 gigs of ram and 2 156 gigs of storage in the first thing here we're going to do is of course check out the temperatures on both of these two phones in the room we are in it is at about 27.1 and let's check out the phones over here 36.1 36.1 so similar on both of these two phones let's boot up these phones over here and see which one will come out faster so normally Xiaomi phones and Poco phones over here do have a very fast boot up let's see over here which Poco does do it faster both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% we're going to see how is the battery performance all right poco f3 done over here with the x3 gt right behind it okay and also we can see the calendar over here already set up with the x3 gt just right behind it so in terms of the display settings both of them have been maxed out in terms of the brightness and also both of them are running at 120 hertz also both of these two phones have been connected to the same wi-fi network as well and location is on every other form of connection is disabled on both of these two phones also both of these two phones all apps have been closed over here to make this a fair comparison and this is the apps that we are going to check out temperature wise it's about 36.2 here 36.2 here the battery has gone down to 99% whereas over here 100% in terms of the battery size 5000 up against 4500 so yes let's run this speed test over here one two three let's go Okay, so over here it seems very similar, but I think the X3 GT was just slightly ahead of the F3. Next up here, Pokemon Go. Okay, this one here, the X3 GT clearly wins this round up against the Poco F3. Next up, we have YouTube. Okay, X3 GT is just slightly again. Next up, Instagram. Okay, similar on both phones. PUBG Mobile. Let's see with this big app over here, which one would come up on top. Okay, looks like the GT is having a slight lead. Okay, X3 GT done over here, while on the F3 it has finished, so yes, behind it over here. So next up here, Chrome. Okay, pretty similar on both phones. Facebook. Okay, I think the GT was just maybe slightly ahead. Shopee. Okay, similar on both phones. YouTube Music. Okay, next up here, settings. Again, similar on both phones. Chester United. Okay, very similar. Premier League. Okay, over here on the GT, while well, yes, on the F3, it does take some time. Next up here, we're gonna test out Netflix. Okay. Next up here, the camera app. Okay, I think pretty similar on both phones. Next up here, Twitter. Okay, GT. And finally, Play Store. Okay, it's pretty similar on both of these two phones. Let's check out the temperatures over here. 36.6 36.5 so very similar again in terms of temperature let's check out the ram test over here okay pretty disappointing both of them do have a refresh over here 
Pokemon Go here has still held up pretty well whereas on the X3 GT does have a refresh YouTube also here better RAM management okay let's go to Instagram slight I think um, of a refresh over here Manchester United okay and then Twitter okay pretty good on both of these two phones but I think here it does have a better RAM management let's check out the temperatures over here 36.8 36.5 so all right let's go on to the next test okay so now we are going to do a GPU test over here and I'm using InShot for this because for some reason the Adobe Rush doesn't run on the X3 GT so both of these two phones will be exporting this at 4k at 30 fps and we're going to see which one would go on faster Okay, seems like the GT is having a lead over here. Almost done. Okay, so over here the X3 GT does beat the Poco F3 which is quite surprising. Does give it some time over here. Temperature wise 36.9, 36.5 so done on both of these two phones. Next time here, we're going to do a Geekbench test on both of these two phones in terms of the temperature 36.5, 36.5 and over here Snapdragon 870 here, MediaTek 1100. Let's run this test and in terms of the battery here, it's still at 99%. Here it's at 100%. Let's run this test. One, two, three. Let's go. Okay, so we are done here with the Poco F3 over here and still it hasn't reached the 1K mark yet with all of my tests. 994 is still a very good score and a multi-core score of 3196. Over here, it does have definitely a clear lead compared to the X3 GT. Temperature wise, 37.5. So yes, things are getting pretty hot over here. Let's give some time over here on the X3 GT to finish up and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we are finally done with the extra GT. Single core score, pretty disappointing, but I think this is the value that I've always been getting and a multi-core score over here. Let's go on to the next test over here, which will be quite interesting. We're going to do a compute test. And again, I will see you guys at the halfway mark. And before I do that, temperature wise, 38 degrees. So let's run this test. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, so we are done here with the X3 GT and initially again, I think the F3 was just a hit but then after that, it kind of pulled away. Nice score here, 4,524. Temperature wise, let's check it out, 37.5, here 37.6 and let's go on to the results over here. So we can see from the CPU test, this is what we always get. Very nice consistent scores, 990. And the highest that we got is today, 994. And in terms of the scores here, always get between six to 700. When it goes to the compute test over here, gives me about 3,005. Over here, 4,005, which is really, really good. So let's go on to the next test over here. All right, so we're gonna go on to the 3D mark test over here. And okay, in terms of the temperature, it is at about 36.6 here also 36.5 very similar so let's go and run this test and i'll see you guys when we do get the results okay so we are done and a nice score 4154 whereas over here 3953 let's see if we can do the slingshot test all right, so we're going to do the slingshot test right now. And in terms of the temperature, it is at about 37.8 degrees. Here, 37. Let's check this out. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, 
so we are done here and a good score of 7610 7263 and this one here maxed out in terms of the settings i'm guessing this is really really good in terms of the temperature 39.8 and over here 38.8 so in terms of the temperature management it seems like the Poco X3 GT does have a better temperature management and over here very impressive from the Poco F3 so if you guys did find this video helpful and also did enjoy this do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hamistag so that is it this is Dr. Hamistag stay safe take care and wash those hands